All right, guys, so this is my theater. We'll just start with the dimensions at 17, inch, 17 feet long by 14 inches wide. Um, I have a 9.4.4 setup that I can switch on the fly to just about anything. Just give you a quick overview of what's going on, walk around. One window, when this play, when these lights go out, and especially at night we're watching, it's black, 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 black in here. So, uh, my one treatment that I have, these are real traps. I had to take that one off, and I got to reframe it. Uh, it was a flaw with the frame. So, uh, HT2550, uh, thank you, 4K. Um, everything in this room is definitive technology. Minus, right now, I actually have different um, different tower speakers. These are prototypes. Uh, JSG Research, uh, they are a prototype. I used to do reviews for AVS forums, and these were gifted to me by the owner of the company. Uh, these are something very special, very different. I also have Definitive Technology Towers and a Definitive Technology Studio Monitor 65s on stands that I can switch out also. So this is just a basic overview of what's going on. Uh, that is a something my wife gave me for Christmas. Metal that's uh, uh, hung on that. It, it kind of holds it and holds it great. I'll give you an idea of what's in my rack. I can switch out things actually. I have a Sony uh, X, X800 Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray player. Uh, I had to take it out because something was going weird with it. So I had put my old Philips 4K in, uh, UPA uh, 500 Emotiva, a Denon, uh, that's an X6200, uh, the 9.2 channel to 11, um, that has Oro everything in it. Xbox One, Blu-rays in there. Subwoofers are... 15-inch uh, clips, which I'm going to switch out to 15-inch um, uh, Starkey Sound uh, 15s. Behind the couch is two 12-inch Velodyne SPL. That those are 1,200 watt, 800 uh, watt RMS. Um, if you notice that picture is actually also acoustically treated. So the, the, the heights are definitive technology, the pro monitor thousands. Uh, so they have, uh, I also have a screen that's an 80 inch, believe it or not, 80 inch, uh, Vizio, uh, 3d. So and that what you're seeing is a pause version of right before the race of ready player one. That's. 120 inch, it drops down literally inches in front of the TV. Not even inches. We're talking maybe an inch that comes down in front of this TV, comes straight down. Uh, so this is, like I said, just a kind of a brief overview. I'm going to pause it and I'll pop the grills off of things and show you where everything is. Okay, so like I said, 15 inch clips. These are... Uh, if you happen to look, bullet the bullet tweeters. These are paper wool cones, front ported. Also, notice. So the dispersion of this tower. Now it's a kind of a mini tower, and as you can see, it's kind of like shaped like an obelisk. Uh, those towers, even on that stand, they don't have to be, but I put them on the stand to have it, the image of the tweeter hit me right in the face. Um, there is a dial on the back that gives you, if I can sink it back there and show you, which I can't because it's too dark back here. There's a dial on the back of each speaker to be able to, to tune in the tweeter uh, to your liking as far as like plus or minus 3 dB, uh, you know, a little hotter, a little colder. Uh, as far as those those little towers are about 65 pounds a piece they are solid this is a believe it or not a surround channel it's a mythos xt now i got this right from definitive technology and this is wired in series 
In other words, this entire thing is used as a center channel. So where you have problems with center channels from having beaming, from not having a good enough experience off axis, not a problem because you go anywhere and it's the exact same sound from point A to point B. Now, also, all my surrounds, the Finif technology, the 8040 BPs, all bipolar, all bipoles. Everything is a bipole. And as Case Space Guy was talking, if anybody uses front wides, well, I do. <laughs> Everything is wired. So if I can unpause this for a second and I can show you an idea of what's what. Hang on, pause, give me a second. First to the tee. Now we are in, this, this is 10 o'clock in the morning and it's dark in here and you can't really gauge how good the picture actually is. I have a Darby unit. So giving you an idea, I can fire up that and you go go four straight 4K. I don't mind having it in 1080. I think it's Artemis. I don't need a I don't need a 4K TV because I've got that, so that's not a big deal. But you you can't see really anything in here. Pretty dark. It's, you're, that just doesn't even do it justice. So to give you guys ideas of what's going on, other than the other than the heights aiming right at me, which are, in all honesty, if you guys are gonna do heights, I know that some of you do. I'll pause this. Hang on. Now I know if some of you guys are gonna do heights, you obviously a lot of people do SVS or they use the clips heights. Uh, or any of the other, you know, appearing in audio. Like I said, I used to do reviews for AVS forums. I've had in this room, um, I've had in this room, uh, appearing in audio towers. I've had uh, legacy towers, Focus XDs that were literally almost half as tall as my TV. Um, it, it's I, I have eight and a half foot ceilings, so I get massive amounts of immersion in here and when this room was built just to give you guys an idea the room was built that i have underneath this is hard obviously hardwood but underneath this the walls everything i will give pictures to him so he can post them when this is being built there is dynamat you know the car audio de sound deadening material Underneath the walls, underneath the floor, or underneath the ceiling, like right under the drywall, everything is dynamated. So this room, is it dead? No, not at all. I don't want it to be because we don't live in an anechoic world. I don't care who says what. We don't live in an anechoic world. That's not how it works. What we do do is we actually live in a live world. So you don't want a dead room. Overtreated rooms are bad so this being this is neutral to a little more lightly you know just that right amount of 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 reverb not terrible very subtle obviously between the carpet between the couch between the stuff on the walls 
the chairs, everything is pretty much where it needs to be. So, like I was just saying, my daughter just kind of came in. So, as I was saying, you know, you can have everything way, way, way over treated. I mean, between the treatment there, the one that's there, this one, I got, you know, six treatments in the room, like the pictures, acoustically treated, everything going. And if you're in here at night and lights off watching a movie, you can't see your hand in front of your face. Even with the window. I had to because New York State, we have an egress code that you have to have an exit to a room if it, the house catches on fire. God forbid. But everything underneath here is dynamited. Everything is dynamated. So I will send pictures of how the build looked coming up. And why I went with this. Yes, could I have actually put in staged seating? Yes, I could have. Did I want to? No, I did not. Why not? Because this is a living space for me and my kids. This actually chair is going back in the kids' playroom, which is also my arcade. I collect and restore full-size arcade games. I have 14. I will show you that in a different video. This is going back in there. The popcorn machine is going back, back there where it's supposed to be. Um... So this is this is it. This is this is the this is my theater, and this is what's going on. And I'm gonna kill the light real quick while we're live, and show you what everything pulls out. I actually have speakers wired into the ceilings that, if I wanted to, I could quite literally run at most into the ceiling. No reason to. Um, just no reason to. One of my favorites, this whole thing is one of my favorite parts in the game. So, this is where we are at, where we're at. This is what we do. This is how I do it. This is what I love to do. And this is my face. So, First off, thank you guys very much for uh, coming into my home and watching what I do. Uh, I also have, like I said, I have three different sets of towers I can switch out on the fly. These I love these towers. These things image like crazy because of the, the, the tweeters. I could turn off the center channel at 100% and literally still um, get a perfect center image because of the way the tweeters work in, this, in these towers. I have pl I have two amps downstairs that I could use at any point in time, uh, you know. So it's it, this to me is the perfect blend of audiophile high end and being able to pressurize a room. Because let me tell you something, just those the, the subs in the back and the subs up front, you know. Obviously, they're all done where you have it. Um, they're all EQ'd and everything's pretty much where it sets. But you don't realize when you have four subs, guys, if you can afford four subs, even four tens, do it. Because there's not a there's no not one null in this room anywhere. There's no dead space. There's nothing that goes in any way. Uh, everything is pretty much point blank, bang, hitting you in the face. So uh, yeah, I don't think people really realize. You know, even 412s, four, I'm telling you, 410s would, would work immensely. You guys would be shocked to, even if you can have 410s that are exactly where you need them to be and everything. Even corner-loaded 410s, four, even 410s, 412s, 415s, whatever, whatever your room can take. If you can corner-load it and you can put them where they need to be, Everybody thinks, oh, the bass is boomy. No, it's not boomy at all. It's actually very tactile, very fast. Uh, the Clips is having a bottom port. The SV, the uh, uh, I've had SVSs in here also. I've had all kinds of different subs up through the years when I worked with AVS. But those Velodynes are, are sealed. They're fast, and they hit like sledgehammers. And you're right. They're right behind you. So, you know, everything just needs to be tuned the right way. Take your time. EQ your system 
you know, unless you're a dedicated channel listening, then most purists would don't want to do that. But I thank you guys so much for coming into my home. Like I said, I really appreciate it. I hope you like the system. Oh, by the way, also, uh, well, this room can, since it's shut off, can be heated or cool, air conditioned at any point by itself. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that I wanted to make sure when I was doing this and going in through it that I had the ability to do so. You know, next uh, time I shoot a video, thumbs up, I will fire up the projector and show you that route. Obviously, it's where it needs to be. Everything's kind of med measured out. When you have when you have bipoles, you don't want them at ear level. You want them high because you want them they're not i'm they would hit me in the head if i walked up to it but you want them at about at the bottom of them but about five five foot five four off the ground for bipoles you want that dispersion think about when you go to a theater you are not your surrounds are not at your level anywhere in the theater they're all high why because you want the sound to envelop you everything is angled where it needs to be everything is angled where it needs to be everything comes out everything points at you everything points at you so everything is where it needs to be and this room could actually be everything could be turned off and i could go top bottom top bottom top bottom top bottom for all for oro 3d at any point in time also so i can use any of the formats at any time the wides if anybody sits there and says you don't need front wides Think of it this way, and this is the last thing I'm going to say on it. You have towers, you have sides, and some of you have, re have rears. If you have fronts, think about how much space before your sides hit you. How much space before your backs hit you. That's not, that's not that many degrees. Then you go from here to here is literally 90 degrees to the screen. It's 80 two degrees to the speaker, 80 degrees. So if you have a wide, you have your center channel, you have your tower, then in 25 degrees, you have that. Then you have that in 30 degrees. Another 25, 30 degrees, you have your rears. So having you having not have a null from here to here. So when the sound travels, it travels instead of going from here to here, it goes from here to here to here to here. It wraps around you. So, again, thank you, guys. I appreciate it, Case Base. I appreciate your time. I appreciate the effort. And uh, I would love to uh, have you over one day and see how everything works. My kids are pushing. My kids pushed my couch over. So, bam. <laughs> of course. Of course. So that's how it works. But thanks, guys. We'll see you soon, okay?